What is going on my friends? Today we are talking about MK11 Cinder. We are going to do something like um, masterclass on that girl. Or in other words, if you just pull her and you don't have no idea what to do with her, then this is the video for you. Now MK11 Cinder is an extremely good pull, especially on a beginner account. There are a couple of reasons for that. The first reason is the fact that in the beginning every single block breaker is super super acquired. And the best thing about Cinder is that she's giving block breaker chance to both MK11 and Netherrealm teammates. And guess what? Can you guess which character, one of the best gold characters in the game is Nether Realm? That's right, it's classic Scorpion. And can you guess which one of the best MK11 characters? Actually, it doesn't matter whether he's Nether Realm because he's an MK11 character, but probably you guess right. MK11 Scorpion, another, probably the best character at Fusion Zero in the game, he is basically um, Nether Realm and MK11, so Sindo is going to give him 25% block breaking chance, which again, in the beginning, is super super important because you have something like this. Just look at my account. I have a Revolver's Fusion 4. That's my absolute best piece that breaks blocks. Usually I'll have something like Fusion 1, like this, or Fusion 2. I don't have extremely high chance to break blocks. And usually if you fail to break the block and if you're facing a character with a million health, he's going to punch you in response and you will die. So having this 25 extra percent it is a lifesaver. On top of everything, Sindel does something else that is super, super useful, and this is a 25% chance to resist stun. If you're facing something or someone like Circle Shadow Lucane, or if you're facing enemy Sindel, it's going to be always useful to get this additional 25% chance to resist stun, because in the beginning it's super difficult to get to 100% without completely losing your damage output. For instance, for Classic Scorpion, I cannot really get 100% resistance to stun, if I am to do anything else, but I have to remove the epic here and then I have to apply, uh, have to, I'm sorry, I have to equip this piece, for instance, it gives me 50% resistance to slow and stun. So if I remove this piece and this piece, I can get 100% resistance to stun, but I'd rather just equip one of those pieces and keep some health or keep some damage or keep some utility, because apart from the resistance to stuns, I need to also keep some utility and keep some damage. So i rather uh, have MK11 Sindel to give me 25% resistance to stun and, and pray that with 80 or 90% in total, I'll be kind of safe. So, Sindel has another very good uh, quality, which I'm going to demonstrate now. In this fight, normal Shiryu Tower regeneration fight, this is going to be a difficult one. And there is a reason I didn't actually pick um, Classic Reptile. I didn't do that on purpose. I want this fight to be a little bit more uh, long and more difficult. So the point is MK11 Sindo can stall time, she's pretty good at that, I'm going to showcase how in a second, and after we beat this fight I'm going to just showcase how her special 1 and special 2 work, and how you can possibly do them without any issues whatsoever so that the enemy will never block it. Now, for the majority of this fight, of course, I'll be relying on classic Scorpion, not on Sindo, but I will hope I will give you a very good example on how Sindel can be very very useful. Alright, so what I'm doing now, I'm doing damage with Scorpion uh, and uh, at this point I'll do special 1 and the bleed will kinda counter the regeneration. So he's still going to be regenerating but not that much. So I'm going to do another special 1, then I'm going to stop with this combo ender because he can tag out. Uh, special 1, he's bleeding, then I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, combo ender, then 1, 2, 3 and then I'm going to do special 1. Okay, 1, 2, 3, combo ender, 1, 2, 3, and you can see Scorpion is slowly but steadily dying. Now the question is who is going to be after him, who is going to come after him. Another 1, 2, 3, combo ender, okay, another 1, 2, 3, it is a little bit time consuming, I'm not going to lie, but he's going to die. If you have classic Scorpion, of course, not classic Scorpion, sorry, classic Ermac. I meant to say Classic Raptor, I'm sorry. So if you had Classic Raptor, it's going to be much easier, but I'm not going to use him on purpose. Alright, 1, 2, 3. Combo Ender, 1, 2, 3. He's 23% left, and the Blee is keeping his regeneration uh, kind of uh, on a safe spot for me. So he doesn't really regenerate crazy. He's still regenerating, but not that much. And he's slowly but steadily dying. Alright, another special one. This might be enough. Alright, now I'm going to call to Sindo. I'm going to do special one. And then I'm going to stun this guy immediately. You see? And now look at the stun duration. Before it expires, you can do this. And then before it expires, you can do this. So, in a way, you are buying yourself time. And I can now tag back to Scorpion and finish what I started. You can do that. Oh my god, I just forgot that this guy hasn't died yet. <laughs> that was a huge mistake. Okay, Joker Juice. 
Um, Alright, I need to kill this guy. Unfortunately, I'm blind, so this is never a good thing. Anyways, uh, the enemy strike for Scorpion is about to die. But I hope the, f the thing that you can use... Ooh, uh, okay, that was scary. Okay, I'm going to try to do the same thing. Special one, immediately after her, uh, basically assist is always a good thing. Not assist, I'm sorry, but I meant to say... Um, uh, after the combo ender, okay, going to do special one. He's going to throw a card. I really hope that this... I didn't pay attention to the card. Oh my god, that's so bad. Okay, so what needs to happen now is I need to attack Sindo. I hope he's going to throw a card. He didn't. Alright, he did special attack 3 to Sindo, so that's fine. In this particular case, she was a scapegoat. But what I need to do now is I want him not to cripple my scorpion again. So, just before it expires, I'm going to attack to the other guy. And then I hope the Joker is going to throw his card on uh, this Scorpion. Okay, okay. I'm fine with that. The next card is going to do damage to me. It's going to power drain me, but at least I'm not going to get crippled. Because if I'm crippled, I cannot do anything. Alright, this Scorpion... Uh, his sacrifice is going to be remembered, so I'm going to do special one. Alright. The Joker is going down very, very soon. So I hope in this particular video, with this example, you saw that Sindel can be super, super useful in stalling. So you tuck her in, you stun, then you wait, then you start a combo, then and again stun. So you, she can buy you like 10 seconds and she's kind of safe in uh, doing that because of her tagging attack. She has tagging attack, so it's super easy for her to tag in. You shouldn't worry that the enemy is going to hit you, you tag in, uh, you apply a shield break, you buy yourself some time, then you do special one, buy, uh, buy yourself some extra time, then you start uh, the special stun, then you wait, and just when the stun is about to expire, you start a combo, and then stun again. Then you can tag back to Classic Scorpion or MK11 Scorpion, whoever is your main fighter. But, of course, I always used to team her with Classic Scorpion and MK11 Scorpion in the beginning, because she gives them both stun resistance and 25% block roll chance, which is huge. I mean, if you take a look at her passive, the stun resistance and the block roll chance is there. Look at this. Click here, and you can see... That MK11 Netherrealm teammates have 25% block wall chance and 25% resistance to stun. And now there's another thing that I want to mention, it's going to be a quick one, but I already showcased how you can do special one immediately after um, her tagging attack. Basically, it will never miss, so the enemy will never block it. I don't have power now, but uh, there you go. I will do some uh, combos so I can gain some power. Okay, by the way, uh, after the combo ender with the scream, she can also do special one or special two, and then we'll never block it. But that's always useful knowing. Alright, uh, this is getting really annoying because of these jacks. So I'm going to attack to Scorpion, hoping that I'm not going to get. I did, of course. It is very, very useful in certain situations for the character uh, to have tagging attack, only so that he or she can counter this. You tag in and immediately get punched. It is so. Oh, this is jacks, it's so annoying to deal with. Okay. Okay. That's not okay, actually. I don't think he's going to kill me, though. Anyways, I don't care whether I win or lose in this particular fight. Alright, so tagging attack. Unfortunately, he blocked, but I broke his block. And at this point, you can do special 1. So special 2 and special 1. Currently, I'm doing special 2. You can see he didn't block it. Which is perfectly fine. Uh, okay. This guy cannot really cripple my stun, so I'm perfectly fine with that. And I'm going to do this again. And tagging to Scorpio. Okay. Special 1. The generating in the process, I absolutely love that. I believe Jax is ready to go. I don't think he can do anything. I think this spear is going to be... Oh my god. I'm going to do another one. And then I'm going to attack to Sindo. Steal some time in the process. Special one, he's not going to block. And the same thing applies to the special two. Just remember, uh, every time when you tag in, uh, basically you're safe. As long as your uh, he doesn't really... He doesn't block your... Uh, he doesn't block your... Uh, Tagging attack damage, so if he doesn't do that, then you're fine. Alright, I think that uh, Luke Kane now I'm going to put him in a stun loop, so he's going to die. I'm not going to do combo ender because if I do, he's going to tag out. And I don't want this to happen for several reasons. The biggest one being every single time when he tags in. It doesn't matter whether I pull him back or uh, Raiden tags in, they're going to cripple me. And I don't want this to happen. Oh my god, it was so bad. Okay, I believe I, I, believe I kind of lose that, but uh, it's okay. Again, uh, here I'm just trying to showcase how Cinder works and not really trying super hard to win the fight because I'm not going to complete the tower anyways. Uh, so I will try, however, not to pull, uh, not to pull uh, sub -Zero. It's difficult to comment. <laughs> All right, okay. Uh, so I have to pray not to get killed by uh, 
by Wu Kane and not to get crippled. I mean, I'm going to get crippled, it's inevitable, yeah. Okay, so 36%, maybe I win this, maybe I win this. Actually, I'm okay uh, with his special one, however, I'm not okay being on fire. Okay, I need to remove this cripple. If I remove this cripple, I win. And break his block, break his block, no! Okay, that was close, <laughs> that was close. Uh, of course, I wouldn't really pick this team in order to beat this fight, but it is what it is. What else am I to show about Sindel? Of course, this is all about Sindel being uh, low fusion and you just unlock her. It's not about Sindel being uh, maxed out. I mean, if you already have Sindel maxed out, probably don't need to see that video in the first place. Also, I need to mention that she has an epic armor that is can be super useful. Sindel can be sidelined and every single time when the enemy does special attack on you, she can scream interrupting his following combo and applying slow. So uh, it is always worth to unlock this armor. This thing works even at Fusion Zero. Uh, and more or less, is this everything that I wanted to say about Sindel? Um, I think it is. I think it is. Sindel. I think this is it. Let me try to... Okay. I just want to demonstrate once again her special 1 and special 2, and then I am done. I'm going to give her something to power generate faster. All right, like this. I don't care about her um, combos at this point, her stuns. All I want to showcase is that her special 2 connects after her combo ender. And we already established that after her tagging attack, both her special 1 and special 2 connect, as long as your enemy doesn't block the tagging attack. And now we're going to talk about uh, her special 1 and special 2 connecting after this combo ender. If you do this combo ender and you special 1 or special 2, they're both going to connect. So that's always good to know. Okay, he's going to block the stun. Please, uh, please don't tag out Jax. You're facing a Fusion Zero girl. Okay. Alright, again, we're doing this combo ender, and after this combo ender, you can do special 2, it's completely fine. So it will never be uh, basically blocked. And that's good to know. So I have to summarize the video. Sindel is uh, super good to stall time in fight, thanks to the fact that she can stun 5 times if you have her specific gear good fusion. If you don't have her gear, she can stun just 3 times, but that's kind of enough. Also, uh, she can apply shoot break. Her special 1 and special 2 will connect every single time after uh, her tagging attack, as long as the tagging attack doesn't get blocked. And uh, after the combo ender with the scream that applies weaken, then again both her special 1 and special 2 will connect. Another thing that you have to remember uh, is that uh, Sindel gives not only a blockable chance but a resistance to stun. That's super super useful in the beginning, especially if you have to face enemy Sindel. You know, she's super annoying, she's stunning all the time and she doesn't even require power to do so. So in order to counter her, you can use your Sindel. Alright guys, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel, give me a thumbs up and uh, have an amazing rest of your day. Take care guys. Perfect.